Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at plotting quadratic graphs. So, um, the steps are going to be, we're going to write a table of values, we're going to plot the coordinates on a graph, and then we're going to draw a smooth curve. Let me show you this in action. So we're going to plot the equation y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. So, as you say, step one, we're going to draw a table of values. When you're in your exam, you will normally have the table of values drawn for you. But if you don't and you want to plot a graph yourself, then a good idea would be to draw uh, the, x quant uh, the x range from about minus one, minus two, up to about five or six. Uh, and then we're going to fill in the y values from this equation. So we take the equation down and we're going to substitute the x values into this equation. So the first one is minus 1, we put minus 1 into where the x was, and we type that into our calculator. Remember when you type in minus numbers that you want to put brackets around them uh, to make it easier for the calculator to understand. The calculator may get confused otherwise. And we type that into your calculator and you get 15. Uh, you do the same with 0, the same with 1, all the way up to when you get to 6, and you put all those numbers into the equation. And this is what you get. So you get these y values here. And so the uh, x equals minus 1 is paired with y equals 15. x equals 0 is paired with y equals 8. And all of these form coordinate pairs. That's what step 2 is going to be. We're going to plot uh, these coordinates on a grid. Minus 1, 15 is too high for our grid, so we're going to miss that one out. We can't get up to 15 up here. Next one is 0 across 8 up then 1 across 3 up, then 2 across 0 up, 3 across minus 1, 4, 0, 5, 3, 6, 8. And you should see a nice clear uh, curve shape coming here. When you do this in your exam, you don't need to label the coordinates in brackets. I'm just doing that to show you exactly what's going on. Okay, now step 3, we're going to plot a smooth curve, draw a smooth curve just like this. When you do this, do it in one smooth motion with your hand. Don't scribble, it will make it very difficult to understand. Okay, now look at the shape of this quadratic graph. It is a U shape. All quadratics will look like a U shape. Uh, so uh, if you're in an exam and your graph doesn't look like a U shape, then you've made some sort of mistake. Okay, uh, it is possible for it to look like an N shape upside down, and that's, that will be if there's a negative number in front of the X squared. So it could be a U or it could be an N shape. Now let me show you this as I drew it on my iPad earlier. I filled in the table of values at the top, and I started plotting the uh, coordinates here. Okay. Just like that, just draw a smooth X each coordinate and I realized I was probably doing it right because it made a nice U shape and then with my pencil I drew a smooth curve. This isn't meant to be perfect, just don't scribble, don't go back on yourself, but don't do it twice, just one smooth curve and move your hand nice and smoothly. Okay and that will get you full marks in the exam. Let's see some practice questions here. So we've got three uh, equations here that I'd like you to plot on some coordinate axes. Now, I've put a link to some graph paper in the description so you can print this out to make it easier for you. Don't try and draw this without graph paper, it's just too difficult. And I'll let you go print that off now, have a go yourself. Uh, remember to draw the coordinate, grid, uh, the coordinate table first for step one then plot the coordinates for step two, and then step three is drawing a smooth curve. Have you got that now? And I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. This is what the graphs look like. I've plotted them using my graphing website. How did you do? Do your graphs look like this? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching today, and I hope you learned about uh, 
Plotting Quadratic Graphs. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.